praise. We give praise. We give praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody lift your hand and worship the Lord and give him praise and give him glory and give him honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to you, Lord. Glory be to you, Lord. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Father, we worship you. We honor you, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. We bless your name, O oh God. We thank you for who you are. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. We praise you, Lord. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. We glorify your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Blessed be thy name. Glory be to your name. Blessed be thy name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's all put our hands together as we welcome our audience all over the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a clap offering. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. We worship you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We glorify your name. We praise you for who you are. You alone are worthy. There is none like you. There is no other God beside you. There is none that compares with you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, the Great I Am. Thank you, Mighty God. Blessed be thy name. 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 Glory be to your name. Blessed be thy name. Glory be to your name. In the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody put your hands together. Give God glory. Give him honor. Worship him. Worship the Lord. Worship him. Give him praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. We want to welcome those worshiping, worshiping with us. Those who are on the Facebook, we want to welcome you. Those who are on the YouTube, we want to welcome you. We want to rejoice with you as we are rejoicing. Celebrate with you as we are celebrating. The Lord God is on the throne. And Jesus is building his church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Somebody say yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like to say with me. Let's share it together and say. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning. By morning, new mercy. All that I need, let the hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness, Lord of Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. 
morning by morning new mercy I feel all that I need and that hands has provided great is the faithfulness great is the great is the faithfulness great is the faithfulness Lord oh, has the Lord been you know faithful to you anyone here has the Lord been faithful to you give him a, a clap offering Bless the name of the Lord. Worship Him. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Give Him honor. Bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. The Lord is worthy. He is worthy. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Glory to God. Glory, glory to God. Mm. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All oh, that I need, and Thy hand has provided. Great is that faithfulness. Great is that faithfulness. Great is that faithfulness, Lord, Lord, to me. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that we are in the house of God to give God praise. And those watching us on the Facebook rejoice together because the God we serve is a spirit. You open your heart, you will receive his word and his spirit will be there to confirm it. Praise God. Let's take our seat as we hear the word of God. God bless you all. Mm. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you all this morning. Looking at your beautiful faces and your handsome faces. Thank God to have you all come back. As we continue to lift the name of Jesus higher. Praise God. Hallelujah. I love that way he says. If you lift him high. He will draw us. Never ever. Sing it out. If you lift him high. He will draw us. Day by day. As long as we lift the name of the Lord up, he will draw us closer. Closer and closer. We are still dealing on the message we are talking, believing. Somebody say believing. believing. Believing is powerful. What we believe can actually change our life either for good or for bad. The gateway or the entryway is through believing. And we say that believing is a deliberate conscious decision to receive and act on a given information. Praise God. Somebody say believe. believe. Say believe it. Believe. Praise God. And the word of God kept repeating, if only you believe, if only you believe, if only you, all things are possible. Praise God. So believing is important. And that's why therefore we need the right knowledge. Because if you are given the wrong knowledge and you believe it, it will destroy. Wrong information has the power to destroy. Right information has the power to help somebody in their journey of faith. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What was our scripture last week? 
read it again. Yes. Mark. Mark 9.23. Mark 9.23. Yes. Jesus said to him. Jesus said to him. If you can believe. If you can believe. Help me and prophesy to somebody and say to him. If you can believe. It's the gateway. If you can what? Believe. believe. Yes. All things are possible. All things are possible. possible. To him who believes. To him who believes. Praise God. And to know how powerful, without believing, salvation could not enter us. We need to believe. We need to believe the gospel. Jesus spoke in the book of uh, Isaiah, the, the, the prophecy in Isaiah, he said that the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach. Can you read that for us? Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Remember, we read Mark 9, 13. Is that correct? And now we are reading Isaiah 61. Yes. The Spirit of the Lord God is the upon me. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. Because the Lord has anointed me. To preach good tidings. To preach the good tidings. If you hear good tidings and believe good tidings, you will begin to experience good tidings. Amen? But if somebody preached to you bad tidings, and you believe bad tidings, you begin to see bad tidings. Because believing is a gateway for things to enter. Good tidings and bad tidings. Praise God. Amen? Read on. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. The Lord has anointed me. To preach good tidings to the poor. To preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me. He has sent me. To heal the broken hearted. To heal the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty. To proclaim liberty. To the captives. To those who are held captives. And the opening of the prison. And the opening of the prison. To those who are bound. To those that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. To declare the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To comfort those that mourn in Zion. Those that mourn. Okay, go ahead. I'm ahead of me. Three. Yes. To console those who mourn in to Zion. To console those who mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they may be called trees of righteousness. That they may be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. The planting of the Lord. That he may be glorified. That he may be glorified. Praise God. This is what the Holy Ghost does through us when we are preaching. When we are preaching, the Holy Spirit wants to heal somebody. The Holy Spirit wants to deliver somebody. The Holy Spirit wants to help somebody to be free from captivity. The Holy Spirit wants to help somebody to enjoy the freedom that comes through Christ. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is available to help us if we are willing to believe what is preached. Hallelujah. If we are willing to believe that which is what? Preached. If we don't believe what is preached, it will profit us nothing. Brethren, I want every one of us to continue to desire that simplicity of the gospel. And also continue to maintain the right attitude. That young or little boys, little girls attitude towards God. Don't come to a place where you believe or think that you have known anything. You have received anything and you have become everything. So keep learning day by day the things of God. Somebody say believing. Believing is a gateway by which all things enter us. Good or bad. 
If you read also the book of Romans chapter 10, Romans chapter 10, you need to know how powerful believing is. Romans 10, Romans 10, well, I, I am actually interested in, in one particular verse, but start from verse 9. That if you confess with your mouth, that if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart, and believe in your heart, that God has raised him, that God has raised him from the dead, from the dead, you will be saved. You will be saved. Somebody said, believe in. Hallelujah. If you don't believe the Lord Jesus, if you don't believe what he did, if you don't believe the story and the what is written about him, he will not be able to produce the result that you need for your life. Look at somebody that said to him, believe. Hallelujah. Believe in the gospel. Believe in the word of God. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in the prophetic word. It opens the gate for what? Salvation. Read that again for me, please. Romans 10, 9. Yes. That if you confess with your mouth. If you confess with your mouth. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart. And believe in your heart. That God has raised him from that the God dead. has raised him from the dead you will be saved you will be saved meaning you will be saved by believing you will not be saved if you don't believe even though salvation has been given praise God look at somebody say to him if only you believe say all things are possible for him that believe it many people hear the word of God but they don't believe it Believing is powerful. Believing is not a mere hearing the story. Believing means that you accept the story and you are prepared to act on what you have believed. Because believing is not just to get the information. It's to get the information and use that information because it has the power to produce the result. Praise God. You hear what God spoke in the book of uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 55. Where God said that my words cannot return back to me void. Is that correct? Meaning that when I believe in the word of God, the word of God I had cannot return back to me what? Void. It means that that word is primed, now ready to produce power. It's now ready to produce results. Is now ready to produce healing. Is now ready to produce deliverance, prosperity. When I believe in what God has spoken, I have made myself a candidate for miracle, signs, and wonders. Praise God. Do you have it? Yes, read it if you have it. Isaiah 55 from 8. Isaiah 55 from verse 8. Yes. For my thoughts are not your My thoughts, thoughts are not your thoughts. No, um, are your ways my ways? Your ways also are not my ways. Says the Lord. Say the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the as earth, the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher. So than are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. And your thought more than thought. For as the rain comes down. As the rain falls from heaven down. And the snow from heaven. And the snow from heaven. And do not return there. And do not return back there. But water the earth. But water the ground or the earth. And bring and make it bring forth. And cause it to bring forth. And bud. And bud. That it may give seed to the sower. So that it may give seed to the sower. And bread to the eater. And bread to the eater. Eleven. Yes. So shall my word be. So shall my word be. That goes from my mouth. That goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. It shall not return back to me void. void. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. But it shall accomplish that I that yes. but it shall accomplish what I please. It will accomplish what I please. That it shall 
prosper in the things for which I sent it will them. prosper in the thing that I sent them for. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at somebody and say to him, the word of the Lord concerning you will not return back to God. Void. Say to yourself, the word of God concerning me will not return back to God. Void. Somebody say, my hands are blessed. And whatever I touch my hands to do, I will prosper. Somebody say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise up against me in judgment is condemned. Somebody say, I am blessed going out. And I am blessed coming in. Somebody said, the Lord is with me. And I shall not fear. Hallelujah. Now, the word of God also promises us. He says that by his stripes, we, we are healed. Somebody said, by his stripes, I have been healed. Therefore, I command every sickness, every infirmity in my body. You have no right. To stay in my body. I cast you out. I command you out. Lose your hold. Over my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The word of God said. Let the weak say I am strong. Lift your hands say I am strong. Say I am full of strength. The strength of the Lord. The power of the Lord. Rest upon me. I believe it. I receive it. I believe it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. So the word of God promises that. He said also let the weak say I am strong. Let the sick say I am healed. Let the poor say I am rich. Somebody declare I am rich. Say it. Say it. Keep saying it. Speak it out. Prophesy it. Somebody say poverty. Out of my life. Poverty, get out of my life. Poverty, get out of my life. Poverty, get out, get out, get out. Get out of my life. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Somebody say I am rich. I am blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord said my word shall not return back to me void. What is the word of God saying to me? With long life I will satisfy you. And show you my goodness in the land of the living. Somebody say I will not die before my time. Say it again. Say with long life. The Lord will satisfy me. Somebody say with long life. The Lord will satisfy me. Somebody say I will not die before my time. I will live my full life. Here on earth. And nothing shall stop me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the word of the Lord shall not return back to him void. What then do I do? I believe it. Somebody say I believe it. And I receive it. Say I believe it. And I receive it. Say it again. Say I believe the word of the Lord. I believe the promises. Of the word of the Lord. I receive the promises of the word of the Lord. I believe it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Lord said that my word shall not return back to me void. Praise God. So we need to know that believing is not just a simple thing. How many of you know that all the troubles that we are in today is as a result of the things we believed and acted upon? How many, of, how many have made a mistake before in their lives? You didn't just make a mistake. You made a mistake because you believed something and then you acted on what you believed. And that thing you believed was wrong and it led you to a wrong result. Is that correct? Even right now, there are many of us children of God. We believe the word of God, but we believe wrongly. We don't believe what? Rightly. How many of you know that the devil quoted scripture to Jesus? 
the devil quoted the scripture to Jesus. And any one of us here, the devil can quote scripture to you. And when the devil quotes scripture, the only thing you will know, if you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will respond quickly with understanding. Praise God. There was one day, I wish I get this scripture, somebody quoted a scripture to me. I nearly got confused that day. I don't know whether it's in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 or thereabout. It says, it says, under the sun, there is, there is not, ah, God, give me this scripture, I need it. Mm. And the person who quoted it, the thing nearly took, took me off guard. I don't know if I can get that scripture. Immediately he quoted it, I went away a little bit disappointed, I didn't have a reply. The Holy Ghost said to me, go back to that scripture and read it. I read the scripture, and immediately I finished reading the scripture. The scripture says, under the sun. Before the scripture was quoted. So the, the Holy Ghost said to me, that scripture is saying under the sun, not above. Immediately joy came back to me. Let me see whether I can get it. it I, I want to show you something before I expand on the word of God. Brethren, remember that Jesus said that as we approach the times that we are living now, as we approach this time we are living now. The Bible says that if care is not taken, even the very elect, they will be what? Deceived. Even the very what? Elect. If care is not taken, they will be what? So, one of the things that every one of us should be very careful as we approach this time and this season, we need to be very, very careful knowing that deception is very, very high. The world right now is being deceived. The world is being deceived right now. And even us who are believers, if care is not taken, deception will also come around us. Praise God. There are certain statements the world is making now. And they are forcing you to copy those statements and make them. And believe them. Be careful what you believe. Are you hearing me? Be careful what you are. We are alive. I could have said a few things to you. But now, let me keep that. <laughs> Praise God Almighty. Lord, give me this scripture that somebody used to bamboozle me here and frighten me out. Well, I will find it along the journey by God's grace. I will read it. But the key thing I want to say to you is that what you believe can change the dynamics of your life. What you believe. If you believe things wrongly, you will act wrongly and it will get a wrong result. But if you believe rightly, it is bound to produce a good result. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, let me take you to Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. Believing. Somebody say believing. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. What does it say? Galatians 3, 1. Yes. Oh foolish Galatians. Oh foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you? Who has what? Bewitched you. Somebody say witchcraft you. <laughs> Who has what? Bewitched, bewitched you. you. Yes. That you should not obey the truth. That you should not obey the truth. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed. Before your own eyes, Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as, as what? Crucified. crucified. Yes? This one I want to learn from I you. want to learn this from you. Did you receive the spirit by the work of the law? Did you receive the spirit of God by the works of the law? Or by the hearing of faith? Or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Are you so foolish? 
Having begun in the spirit. Having begun in the spirit. Are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Are you being made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain? Have you suffered so many things in vain? If indeed it was in vain. If indeed it was in vain. Therefore. Therefore. He who supplies the spirit to you. He that supplies the spirit to you. And works miracles among you. And works miracles among you. Does he do it by the work of the law? Does it happen through the work of the law? Or by the hearing of faith? Or by the hearing of faith? Somebody say hearing. hearing. Believing. Believe. Somebody say hearing. hearing. Say believing. believing. You see, you hear to believe. If you hear a wrong thing, you will believe a wrong thing. If you hear a wrong message, you will believe a wrong message. So you need to be careful of hearing. I'm believing. Read on. Just as Abraham believed God. Just as what? Abraham believed God. Yes. And it was accounted to him for righteousness. So it was Abraham's believing. The act of Abraham believing what he had. Aren't you glad he had the word of God? Because he could have had any other word. Are you here with me, church? He had the word of God and he what? He believed it, yes? Just as Abraham believed God. Just as Abraham believed God. It was accounted to him. It was deposited in his account, in his reserve account. Yes? Therefore, yes. know that only those who are of faith yes. are sons of Abraham. Those who believe the word of God and act on it being their faith are as good as sons of Abraham. Yes. And the scripture. And the scripture. Foreseeing that God will foreseeing God, that God will justify the Gentiles. God will faith, justify the Gentiles by faith. By faith. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel to Abraham. To Abraham beforehand. Beforehand. Saying. Somebody said they preach it. Of the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Look at somebody say, if you believe and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you have salvation. Hallelujah. Believing is powerful. Brethren, you will need what you are hearing now much more. Because there are many things that are passing through our ears. We are hearing many information. Super highway from e Be careful what you believe. Help me and prophesy to somebody and say to him. Be careful what you believe. There are many preachers today. Preachers of righteousness. There are many exalters. You call them motivational speakers. Not everything the motivational speakers speak. They are speaking by the spirit. Most of them are speaking things by their flesh. Be careful what you believe upon which you rest your faith and your action. Praise God. Read on. And the scriptures. And the scriptures. Foreseeing that God will justify the Foreseeing that God will justify the Gentiles. By faith. By faith. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel to Abraham. Beforehand. Beforehand. Saying. Saying. In you. In you. All the nations. All the nations of the earth. Shall be blessed. Shall be blessed. Read on. So then, so then, those who are of faith, those who are of faith, are blessed, are blessed with believing Abraham. With believing who? Abraham. Look at somebody say, don't stop believing. Hallelujah. Your blessings are there. Believe it. And they are coming to you. Believe it. Praise God. Today, Every one of us that is a man of God, we are going to have great work to do. Because the world is poised with a lot of sayings. Things that has been said. And most of the time also, we are going to be forced to follow those things. And some of them are not bad, but some of them are contrary to the word of God. So you and I are caught in a dilemma. Which one do I take? The word of God or the word of man? The word of God or the sayings of 
men. I want to encourage you. Keep your faith sound. Keep your faith what? How? By giving diligent time to the word of God. You must have an unquenchable appetite for the word of God. Church, are you hearing me? You must develop what? An unquenchable appetite for what? The word of God. Because the more you feed with the word of God, it said that your mind is being renewed. You need a continuous renewal of your mind so that when things come around you, you will be able to discern the things to believe and the things not to believe. Because not everything you believe is right. Praise God. Here, Paul, the apostle, is writing to the Galatian church. He said to them, who has bewitched you? Witchcraft. Somebody say witchcraft. Who has what? Who has bound you with what? Witchcraft. How did they bind them? They were speaking to them words and they ended up believing those words. They were preaching to them words and they believed the words. What they were preaching to them, if you turn back to the book of Galatians, you will find that what they were saying to them, they say you are saved. You said yes, they say it's not complete until you are circumcised. It's on that very chapter. If you go back to read it. Chapter 2. You find out that a preachers, not unbelievers, believers. Preachers came to the church in Galatia. And began to preach to them and say to them. Yes, you are rejoicing that you are saved. You are rejoicing that you are filled with the spirit of God. But according to the book we have. Your salvation is not complete until you are physically what? Circumcised. And they believed it. And they did what? That's why God will raise a pastor with a teaching anointing for you. Paul came back and said to them, Who has what? Bewitched you. Because what you had and believe is not the gospel. Look at somebody and say to him, Everything we hear is not the gospel. The devil can preach the word of God. The devil can quote the word of God. But every child of God, you must know the word of God. So that when you hear what is said, you can judge it by scripture to word scripture. Praise God. Praise God. My God. How can I be frank with this congregation? Praise God. Many people are going to be in trouble because of who is preaching to you or whose words you are listening to. Because not everybody is preaching is called of God. Did Jesus not say to us that in the last days many falls will what? Arise. Is that correct? Why are they rising? They are rising so that their words can be very tantalizing. So that people can receive it and believe it and then be deceived. There are many deceiving spirits and they are coming with words. They are coming with what? Words. And they want you to believe it. Me, I will believe the word of the Lord. Lord, I will believe your word because your word is pure. Your word is pure. It giveth life and light. Praise God. David writes in the book of Psalm 119, he said that your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my heart. He writes again, he said that your word I have hidden in my heart so that I may not sin against. You cannot have the word of God guiding you and then you blindly you are walking and living in sin. No, it's not possible. It's not what? It means you are hearing the voice of another. Jesus said that my sheep hear my voice. And the voice of the enemy they will not what? Hear. If you are Jesus' sheep you will hear his word. If people tell you lies you will know when they are telling you lies. Praise God. If people are deceiving you you will know when they are what? Deceiving you. Praise God. Look at somebody and say to him if only you believe. Say to him all things are possible. 
for him that believes. Hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hand and prophesy to yourself. Say, as I pass through this time and this season, the Lord God, by his word, will guide me and protect me and lead me in his path of righteousness. And I will reach my destination. I will receive the things God has planned for my life. My life will be established. I declare and I decree. I am unstoppable. No one can stop me. The Lord is on with me. And he will lead me in my way. It is well with me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Paul says to the Galatian church. Who has bewitched you? Hallelujah. So for me to come under the spell or the control of a false spirit, I must hear words that will lead me to that place. Praise God. Hallelujah. If I don't hear words, then I have nothing to believe. That's why the preaching of the gospel is very, very important. If you go back to the book of Romans, Chapter 10, verse 14. You will see a dilemma there. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Now the Holy Ghost is speaking. Say, how can they call on Jesus whom they have not what? Believed. believed. Yes. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How can they believe him? They have not heard anything about him. How can they believe it? Yes. And how shall they hear without a preacher? How can they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? And how can they preach unless someone send them? As it is written. As it is written. How beautiful are the feet of those How beautiful are the feet of those who, who preach the gospel of peace? Who brings glad tidings of good things. Who bring glad tidings of good things. May God help you that the people preaching to you will bring you glad tidings of good things. Because there are other people preaching death. There are other people preaching lies. There are other people preaching deception. There are other people preaching unforgiveness. There are other people preaching bitterness of soul there are other people preaching all kinds of what messages blessed be the feet of those that bring the glad tidings of good things praise god praise god so the message is that you cannot act on something you have not believed and you cannot believe on something that somebody have not told you Look at somebody say, who is speaking into your life? Every one of you need to mark. You need to know who is the person that is what? Speaking into your life. Not everybody is allowed to speak into your life. Brethren, be careful. Today, many people's lives are destroyed because they believe their friends more than they believe their parents. Some believe... The worldly system more than they believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. So you need to choose what to believe. Because there are many things that is happening. There are many sayings. There are many teachings. You need to know what to believe. I believe the word of God. The word of God is unchangeable. The word of God cannot return back to God void. The word of God is yea and amen. The word of God is settled forever and forever in heaven. Praise God. Praise God. And I want to let you know, if there is anything that Jesus, the owner of the church, there are things that when he sees it, he will express boldly against it. Is believing wrongly or not having faith in his word. Oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Praise God. 
You know you can be in the church but bewitched. Do you believe that? It's written. One can be in the church but what? Under the bewitchment of witchcraft. Because of what they believe. Hallelujah. We were studying in the Bible college and then we began to touch all manner of things on the two subjects we have dealt with. Especially about tithe. Let me say that to you. Praise God. Somebody say tithe. There are many teachers that are teaching you that tithe is for the old covenant. Is that correct? And many people believe it. And many are going to be destroyed without knowing for believing it. Yet they are preaching to you powerfully. In fact, they have titles like myself and they have following. They say that tithe is not for the new covenant believer. Praise God. And when you study scripture and you're a student of scripture, there are things that you need to pick up that will tell you that this is a lie from the pit of hell. Praise God. They will ask you how many places was it written in the new covenant that you should pay tithe. Hallelujah. Even if it is not written, I want to show you foundational scriptures. The Bible says that the church is built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. Is that correct? Is that a New Testament writing? Yes. It is written in the New Testament. Somebody said the church is built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. So, question I want to ask you. Is the prophetic word given by Elijah, is it old covenant? It's not old covenant, it's as good as new covenant because it's part of the foundation of the church in the New Testament. Church, are you hearing me? I want you to get this scripture. The church is built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. Is that correct? If you are part of the church, one of your foundation is the prophets. Is that correct? And the word that we are prophesied, those words are as good when they were prophesied and as good now because they are part of the foundation of the church. Hallelujah. Did you believe that prophecy you read? Did you believe the prophecy we read in Isaiah 50, Isaiah 55? You read the scripture there now. Do you believe that? Do we believe it as New Testament people? Do you believe it? So it's not Old Covenant? No. If, if you don't believe what is written in the book of Psalms, then you are missing. Because what is written in the book of Psalms are part of the prophetic word to the church. And Jesus and the word of God confirms that the church is built on the foundation of what the apostles have said and what the prophets have said. And Jesus Christ, he is the chief corner stone praise god when you talk about old covenant you're only talking about salvation which is the forgiveness of sin in the old covenant there is a law requiring that the forgiveness of sin is by slaying an animal and get the blood of an animal that one has been fulfilled because jesus has offered himself as our sacrificial lamb for the forgiveness of our sin is that correct all the words that are written by the prophets are still alive because they are the foundation of the church. How can you remove your foundation? If you remove your foundation, you will collapse. Are you hearing me, church? Help me and look at somebody and say, make sure you pay your tithe. Wrong believing can lead you astray and destroy what you have already what? Received. I'm not on the subject of that, but I just give you one example about what? Wrong believing. Here, in this location, in this particular place, Deadford. Somebody said Deadford. <laughs> I remember a few years back, we, we are using 
a building belonging to another church. And we asked them that we want to do a revival service Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we printed a banner. On the banner we say, come and receive your miracle. And we put it out in the morning. Before we come for the service in the evening, they used a white cloth and covered the banner. So that nobody can read or hear what is said. Is that correct? Do you know, when we asked them, why did you cover it? They said to us that, don't we know that there are no more miracles? That we are advertising what? Miracles. And are, that miracles have what? Ceased. This literally happened here. They believe that there is no more what? Miracle. And you and I are believing God for miracle every day. And we are receiving miracle every day. Somebody, are you hearing me? Say wrong believing can destroy somebody's faith and lead them astray. But right believing is important. But for you to get the right believing, you must have a right preacher. Someone anointed of God who believes in the word of God, who trusts God, and who preach without fear or favor, who divide the word of God accurately. Praise God. Before we close this service, let's read this scripture on Hebrew chapter 3. Start reading from verse 12. Hebrew chapter 3, starting from verse 12. Yes. Beware. Beware. Brethren. Brethren. Lest there be in any of beware brethren yes least there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief did you hear that beware brethren lest there be in any of you an evil heart of what unbelief, unbelief. yes in departing from the living god departing from the living god but exalt one another. But exalt one another daily. While it is called today. Why we still have the light of today? Lest any of you be hardened. Lest any one of us be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Deceitfulness of what sin? Which is unbelief. Yes. For we, for we have become partakers of. Christ. We have become partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, if we hold the beginning of our confidence, steadfast stay stay till the end. end. Look at someone that said, "Him hold fast what you have believed, what you have received." Say to him, "Hold it fast, even till the end." Tell him, "Hold it fast." Hallelujah! I say, Hallelujah! What do we hold fast? We hold fast. Number one, we are born again. Somebody say, I'm born again. I'm born again. Jesus said that if you are ashamed of me in this world, I will be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. How many people are born again? Wave your hands. Say, I'm born again. Tell yourself, I'm born again. Say, I, 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 am, saved. I am saved. Somebody say, the yoke of sin, the, of sin, the power of death power over my life over my is life. broken. Broke. My faith my is in Jesus Christ. Who died for me. Buried and rose again. Victorious. Someone say I'm saved. I am born again. I believe it. I receive it. In Jesus name. The Bible also says that my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Say with me. Say my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Another scripture said that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have what? And all things has become. Somebody say everything about me in my past is now in my past. Hallelujah. Somebody say all things has passed away and all things has become new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. So you, you need to believe the promises that God has made unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he said you must hold fast the things you have believed. And you need to hold them fastly till the end. Praise God Almighty. So as we come closer now to come off the air. I want us to stand on our feet for a few minutes and lift our hands. And open our mouth and begin to thank God. 
Just give God praise. Give him thanks. Glorify God. Give him honor. Worship him. Glorify the name of the Lord. Praise him. Give God praise. Open your mouth and talk to God. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are possible. Lord, we believe. We believe, Lord. We believe, we believe, we believe. All things are possible. We believe what your word says. All things are possible. For him that believeth. All things are possible. For him that believeth. All things are possible. For him that believeth. Lord, I believe. I am healed. I am healed. I am delivered. I am healed. I am delivered. The yoke of sin and death over my life, over my family is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken. Every gate holding my life, every cage holding my life is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus. I am set free by the power of the blood of Jesus. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am delivered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those that gather against you, they will fall for thy sake. Those that gather against you, they will fall for thy sake. Every conspiracy against you, we nullify and cancel and destroy. Every assignment against your life, we nullify, we cancel and we destroy. In the name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord cover your life, cover your children, cover your marriage, cover your finances, cover your going out, cover your coming in. You are protected. I say you are protected. I say you are protected. The hand of the Lord is upon your life. The glory of the Lord is upon your life. Somebody shout, Yeah! Woo! Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your goodness and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. We honor you, Lord. We believe your word. We receive your word. Your word of promise. Thank you, Lord. We believe our body is healed from sickness and disease. We are delivered. We are protected. No evil shall come near us. No evil shall come near us. No evil shall come near us. The Lord is with us. In the name of Jesus. That which is impossible with man is possible with us. Somebody shout, the Lord is with me. Somebody say, the Lord is with me. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack no good thing. I am blessed of God. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. My God. There is no one, no one like Jesus. No one, no one like him. No one, no one, Jesus, oh, no one, no one like him. There is no one, there's no one, no one like Jesus. Oh, Salama, no one, no one like him. No one, no one, Jesus, no one, no one like him. There is no one, there's no one, there's no one like him. No one, no one, no one like him. No one, no one, no one like Jesus. No one, no one, no one like him. There is no one, no one, no one like Jesus. No one, no one like Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one, no one like Jesus. No one, no one, no one. There is no one. 
Salamandele bo shalababa. Oh, no one. No one like Jesus. There is no one. No one. No one like Jesus. Hey, Yaba. There is no one. No one like Jesus. There is no one. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is no one. Kabaha. Jesus. Oh. There is no one. No one. No one. Kabasa. There is no one. No one, no one. No one, no one. No other brother like Jesus. No other friend like him. No other sister like Jesus. No one, no one like him. There is no one. Oh, no one. There is no one. What oh, Salamanda? There is no one. 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 Oh, Salamanda, no one. No one. No one. No one. Jesus. No one. No one. Put your hands together to the Lord. Touch. Put your hands and let's give the Lord a clap offering. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For those that are watching us through the Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are, if you want to give your life to Jesus, pray this prayer with me. Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you and I put my trust in you. I confess with my mouth that I am a sinner. Today I repent from every sin I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. I ask for mercy. Father, have mercy on me. Forgive me, wash me, and cleanse me. In the name of Jesus. I declare with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God. He died on the cross of Calvary. He was buried and he rose again. I confess this with my mouth and I believe it with my heart. I am saved. I am delivered. I am born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, we put our hands together for you. We rejoice with you. We rejoice with you. Hallelujah. And church, let's stretch hands and pray for the sick. Wherever you are, you are hearing the sound of our voice. We pray for you right now. If you are sick in your body, we command that sickness to leave you now. In the name of Jesus. If the devil is holding you bondage, we break the yoke of every bondage over your life. We open every cage holding your life and we demand your freedom now. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be loosed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. We release the grace of God over you. Be increasing now. Receive increase. Receive favor. Receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. We declare you made whole in Jesus' name. We want to thank God for you joining us in the service. We see you again on Tuesday, Friday, back again on Sunday. May God bless you. See you again in Jesus' name. Welcome to the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app, a new modern way to quickly connect with Bishop Simon's ministry. From access to extended messages and ministry products to streaming worship service, you can do all of these and more with the new Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. You can listen to Bishop Simon's messages on radio 24-7. Listen to latest or previous sermons. Follow us on social media without leaving the app. With this free app, you get exclusive access to events, updates, and message series from Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho. The mobile app is the bridge that connects you with the ministry's activities at any time, anywhere. You can watch 24-hour online TV and on-demand videos. 
get straight to our website at just a click and send in your prayer requests. Take a step further in your journey with Christ. Download the Bishop Simon Ihia Nachos app today. Available on the Google Play and App Stores. Download it now. My heart.